although most people believe that the Gatling gun is the first true machine gun and the first machine gun equipped by the U.S. military, it is not the only one. The U.S. military also equipped another machine gun called the Union Repeating, which roughly means United Machine Gun, also known as the Ager Machine Gun or Coffee Grinder Machine Gun. Regarding the origin of the gun's name, Union Repeating should be the official name, while Ager Machine Gun is derived from Wilson Agar. Some articles claim that he was the British sales agent and used the name Ager Machine Gun when registering the patent in the UK, while others say he was the designer himself. The exact details are unknown. However, the term coffee grinder machine gun should be easy to understand as the appearance of the machine gun resembles a coffee bean grinder, which is a nickname. The development of the coffee grinder machine gun encountered many problems. First, there was no suitable fixed ammunition. The designer used a reusable steel casing to hold the paper cartridges and, at the rear, thus solving the ammunition problem. However, this structure resulted in powder residue from the burning paper remaining on the inner wall of the barrel after firing, which affected the shooting. The machine gun stored ammunition in a top-mounted hopper with a steel structure similar to a revolving pistol chamber below. The shooter would rotate the crank on the right side to drive the chamber rotation. With the force of gravity, a bullet would fall into the chamber gap, align with the barrel through rotation, and be fired. This structure is similar to the Gatling gun, with empty steel casings falling from the bottom and needing to be collected and reloaded with bullets. Due to the processing accuracy and characteristics of the steel material at that time, its sealing was not very good during shooting, and there were always flashes of fire at the joint between the chamber and the barrel. Like the Gatling gun, the coffee grinder machine gun was also mounted on a carriage and used. The complete set weighed much less than a typical field gun and could be easily towed during marches. In 1861, the coffee grinder machine gun was demonstrated in front of Lincoln, who highly approved of the gun. This was completely different from the opposition of the military leaders. Most military generals believed that an untested weapon should not be equipped and that mature models should be used instead. However, this is a very contradictory matter. If you don't let them go to the battlefield, how can they become mature? In any case, Lincoln resisted the pressure and personally ordered the purchase of 10 machine guns. General McClellan soon purchased 50, and two other generals each purchased two. However, the soldiers were quickly disappointed. During use, the machine gun was limited to a maximum firing rate of 120 rounds per minute, which was not easy to increase due to issues such as bullet and air tightness. Its effective range was only about 800 to 1,000 yards, similar to a rifle. In tests, the hit rate on infantry formations beyond 400 yards was 40%. The main problem was the single-barrel design. When the shooter rotated the crank, only the chamber was driven to rotate, unlike the Gatling gun where multiple barrels rotated together. Although it was more labor-saving and lighter, with the metallurgical technology at that time, the lonely barrel could not withstand continuous firing of 100 rounds. The soldiers reported that the barrel easily became red from continuous firing, and even melted metal solution would spray from the muzzle. The designer did consider a solution. The machine gun's barrel could be replaced promptly after heating, making it the world's earliest machine gun with the ability to quickly change barrels. The designer also envisioned installing a small fan powered by the crank. When the shooter fired, the fan would rotate together, not only blowing air to cool the barrel, but also blowing away the ashes inside the barrel. However, this idea was not realized. In addition to problems with the firearm itself, there were also processing issues. Of the 60 machine guns received by the military, the quality was uneven, and only a few were put into battle in places like Gettysburg and Yorktown. Interestingly, observation balloons were already in use at that time, and the coffee grinder machine gun was the first recorded machine gun used for anti-aircraft shooting. Due to its poor performance during the war, these machine guns, which were not favored by the soldiers, were sold for $500 each after the war and mainly became treasures for collectors.